Hey guys, welcome back to some more Portal 2, and welcome back to some more testing in the after lab to ensure that sufficient that power <laughs> remains for core Fine. protocols. All safety devices have been <laughs> Oh, I thought we were done. We did our testing for today. Apparently, I need to go back and test because I don't know how to speak. <laughs> What's this place? Oh, that thing. You did find a portal. Oh, laboratory. Lester, you failed the testing. You need to go back into quarantine. Uh, I'll go back to sleep for nine, 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 nine. Thanks, Wheatley. And this test is a lot of hardships. Like. And. Especially. Okay, listen, let me lay something on you here. <laughs> Drops a million tons of lead. Uh oh. <laughs> never, never, ever to disengage myself from my management rail, or I would die. But we're out of options here. So, get ready to catch me, alright, on the off chance that I'm not dead the moment I pop off this thing. On three. Ready? One. Two. Three! That's high. It's, it's too high, isn't it, really, that? Alright, getting on three is <laughs> too much time to think about it. Let's, I'm guessing you can't, uh, on one I don't know, lower yourself or maybe wait one. until I get, like, a step stool. Now, the thing is with this section, you dead. can I'm juggle dead. Wheatley for a bit, and if you do, he just Plum keeps on panicking. Kind of hard to do it, though, because he's a round object, and uh, trying to um, hold a round object and portal without grabbing it is not much. easy. You can't grab Wheatley until he hits the ground. Can you just turn around for a second? No. 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 Well, whatever I don't want to. I do believe if you, like, go into the... The command prompt for this, like, increase your field of view or, like, change the camera angle. You can watch him hack and he's doing nothing. <laughs> we do get to see him hack later, and we can actually put a portal on the other side of the room to see what he's doing for the hacking. So we'll, we'll get to see what he really does later when he hacks. Just follow the rail, actually. Oh, no. Yes, hello. No, we're not stopping. Don't make eye contact. Whatever you do. Hi, turret. Thanks. We're good. Appreciate it. Don't make eye contact, whatever you do. <laughs> Thanks, anyway. What does Wheatley think he is? Like a Jehovah's Witness or something? I don't have a response to that. <laughs> it's like the T-Rex. Don't make eye contact. I was trying to think of a pun, and I'm like, I got nothing. I got nothing. <laughs> We're going to have to go through her chamber, and she will probably kill us if, if she's um, awake. This place may look familiar if you played the ending of Portal 1. Option A, sit this here, do nothing. Option was the B, pathway to get to GLaDOS's room in that game. Okay, I'm gonna lay my cards on the table. I don't want to do it. I don't want to go in there. Don't, don't go in there. Don't, she's off. She's off. Don't panic over. She's off. All fine. On we go. Love how you can see that and you're not even turning your head. Like, he can't really. <laughs> there she is. This is the most we see him on an angle. It's like a 45 degree. Like a proper maniac. Do you know who ended up, uh, do you know who ended up taking her down in the end? You're not going to believe this. A human. I know. I know. I wouldn't have believed either. Apparently this human... You don't stay. Uh, yeah. <laughs> then there was a sort of long chunk of time where... Man, uh, maybe one day you can meet that said human who killed uh, GLaDOS. Man, that'd be a spectacle. So, um, that's pretty much yeah, in like nine, 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 nine years. Yeah, I'll give or take. Okay, down these stairs. Jump! This, actually, look at it. That is quite a, that's quite a distance, isn't it? Okay, you know what? Uh, go ahead and jump. You've got you've got braces on your legs, so you're all set. Although no braces on your arms, though, so you're going to have to rely on the old human strength to keep a grip on the device and, by extension, me. So do do really make sure you keep a grip on me. Also, a note: no braces on your spine either. So so don't land on that. Throw him! Head, no braces. <laughs> split like yeah, the more you're talking about wanting to jump, the less um, likely I'm so going to, because this doesn't sound like a good idea. <laughs> It'll be fine. Well, let's go back to the first test. You know, I'm not, I'm not like just a plastic cup. Uh, we will be landing with some force. Wow, Wheatley. Uh, bit of grip. Just using grip. Classic grip. You know, this thing is not even technically holding you, right? This is basically like telepathic holding. Oh, I just thought the magnet field. Better plan. A new plan. No imagining of any potential outcomes whatsoever. Okay, just, just jump. Just jump into the, into the abyss and and see what happens. Oh, it's still there. It's still in my head. Yes, yeah, this, this is basically telling someone, don't look down. They look down. 
And that's it. They, they can never stop. Oh, still held. Still being held. You think, that's a great job. You've applied the great. We're all fine. That's <laughs> tremendous. Yeah, you stupid talking British plastic cup. <laughs> Wait, like, is just there an the off head. button on you, man? <laughs> if only. If only. Maybe we could put him in the potato this instead. Is the main breaker room. Look for a switch that says escape pod. All right, don't touch anything else. Not interested in anything else. Don't touch anything else. Don't even, don't even look at anything else. Just well, obviously you've got to look at everything else to, to find the escape pod. But as soon as you look at something, it doesn't say escape pod. Look at something else. Look at the next thing. All right, but don't none of these have writing else. on them, Wheatley. I don't know which one says escape pod for that reason. Can you see the it? only thing that isn't labeled is the ceiling. Why doesn't it say ceiling? Plug yeah, that's a good point. I'll turn the lights on. Let there be light. That's uh, God. It's close. To God. <laughs> oh, look at that. Turning. Ominous. But probably fine, as long as it doesn't start, you know, moving up. Yeah, yeah. hopefully it doesn't hit any switches, right? Escape pod, escape pod. I mean, what's the worst that can happen? Okay. Okay. No, don't, don't worry. okay, he's hitting all the switches. He's that kid in the candy shop. No, he wants to get everything. <laughs> no, no, he's that kid in that you go on the elevator and he's like, Oh, here's all the buttons. Let me push all the buttons. <laughs> he just rubs his hand all over the unit. Yeah, there's a password. Weedly, I've seen what you're doing on your Twitter. You really should close your browser history. You do know that everyone can see your retweets publicly. Weedly, I've seen what you also favorite. You're in some weird stuff, man. Really weird. No, no, I was curious in what humans are interested in. Then why have you done it more than once? <laughs> How have you been? I've been really busy being dead. You know, after you murdered me. You did what? Uh, I don't think you were oh no, dead, Plato. I think you were just turned oh no. off. Yeah, I mean, the thing is, okay. the ending of Portal 1 implies that, that you're going to the facility itself was still operational, so anyone could have turned GLaDOS back on. It just so happened to be us, Shell. The same person who quote unquote kills her by flipping the off switch say, in the though, first game. Since you went to all the trouble of waking me up, you must really, really love to test. I love it too. There's just one small thing we need to take care of first. Yeah, laundry shoot, yeah! <laughs> this is the opposite of the cake scene. And there was no cake at the end. Oh, it's a good thing we lay in here and not another like 10 feet downwards. <laughs> Otherwise we would have hit right into the incinerator. When you threw them down here. The dual portal device should be around here somewhere. Once you find it, we can start testing just like old times. Coming through, where? Where is? That the, that moment when you reminisce with an old friend, there. and you do the same stuff you used to do. Good. Exactly. So this there here is basically the same dual portal device we used back in Portal One. You even kind of tell because it looks dirtier than the other one we had. It's, le it's, got, it's less zhuzhi. We haven't started testing yet. This will be our only chance to talk. Do you know the biggest lesson I learned from what you did? I discovered I have a sort of black box quick save feature. In the event of a catastrophic failure, the last two minutes of my life are preserved for analysis. I was able, well, forced really, to relive you killing me again and again, forever. You know, if you'd done that to somebody else, they might devote their existence to exacting revenge. Luckily, I'm a bigger person than that. I'm happy to put this all behind us and get back to work. After all, We've got a lot to do, and only 60 more years to do it. More or less. I don't have the actuarial tables in front of me. But the important thing is you're back. With me. And now I'm on to all your little tricks. So there's nothing to stop us from testing for the rest of your life. Oh! After that, who knows? So that's why we'll not take up a hobby. we're not getting a Portal 3 anytime different. soon. We have to wait 60 years for that! Oh god. Yes, exactly.
Do you think GLaDOS would be vindictive enough that if she used Twitter, she would set up alternate accounts to troll Shell? Yeah, probably. Do you be that one who creates 50 alternate accounts every minute? That's back online. And they would be named Turt 1, Turt 2, Turt 3. Essentially. Hello? <laughs> it's just that's the only post from all of them. Yep. Are you still there? Okay, let's go ahead and begin the test. Here we go. This is going to be a very complicated and difficult test. I really hope we figure it out. We did it. Not bad. I forgot how good you are at this. You should pace yourself, though. We have a lot of tests to do. But I just got here. I mean, that's basically a repeat test from the first game, except that we don't have those energy balls anymore. Instead, they replace it with laser beams. And honestly, I'm very glad. The laser balls from Portal 1 were just really this weird and awkward to actually line up correctly in tests. And they always killed you. Building them before you had your the physics on, on those so balls are so just we'll bouncy. Yeah. Well, they're very unwieldy. Corner. Like, it doesn't control like an actual ball physic, you would think. Hey Lester, did you know that if you push the space space button, you jump? No, I, I just say Apple. Well, I found Wheatley. Hi, Wheatley. You want to talk? Want to say anything? Awfully quiet today. You're not gonna. Oh. That'd do it. This is kind of a weird thing in the game because this is not technically real. Like this Wheatley model is not the same like Wheatley character. That's why it doesn't have any dialogue. It's just a model that exists. It doesn't have weight to him, so you can't use it to press down buttons. Why is he here? Yeah, it's weird. It's your little Easter egg thing for being able to grab him. The model itself is here just to show you Wheatley is still alive. But that's it. In fact, we can do stupid things like this. We just put him in the elevator, and then we can just kind of roll him around. Not ever really supposed to go in the elevator with you, but if you grab him this one test chamber, and this is the only chamber in the game he appeals like this, then yeah, you can just kind of bounce with you. But as soon as we get off the elevator, we're missing our little Wheatley friend. Where'd Wheatley go? Thank you, Gladys, you took my toy away. <laughs> no, it's a collectible. I spent so much money on eBay. Look, I don't care, you're testing. You were testing. I thought I had to put him in random spots like the radios. Well, that was unnecessarily noisy. It's all nice and all, but I'm gonna ignore all that and come to this uh, little alcove over here. Little rat man's den. Don't even try? Don't even try. And that's not wrong when it comes to these tests. The harder you try, the more close and dangerous things get. I do like the song that's playing on this radio, though. It's actually one of my favorite pieces from this game. Mm. I believe it's just called Exile in the soundtrack. Something like that. I thought it was funny how it, for a second I said too many variables, but then I thought when I first read it I said too many variables. Uh. Now luckily we got rid of them all, so we're good. Congratulations. Not on the test. Most people emerge from suspension terribly undernourished. I want to congratulate you on beating the odds and somehow managing to pack on a few pounds. <laughs> oh. Oh. Thanks, you call Gladys. me fat? Yeah, fat shaming me, huh? Uh, well, you love to see it. Yeah, she does it a lot, the show in this game. She'll fat shame you, she'll make fun of your looks. Like She'll just pretty much pull My every mom. punch. She'll, she'll she'll tell you how much uh, how 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 it's it, it's great that you don't have any parents. Yep. Like I said, she pulls every punch. Parents hated you. Oh, that wouldn't be the first time, Glados. That looks dangerous. This is gonna end in death, isn't it? What? You know, I didn't bring my floaties today, but I do feel like a swim. <laughs> Give me that. I'm just watching you do this. I'm like, well, I'm glad you know what you're doing because 
the number of times I lasered myself in the face. Yeah, it's very easy to do. Like, sometimes <laughs> I'll just put down a portal, and I don't well, I remember if I shot it where a laser is or not, so I'm putting it in front of me, and then I just shoot myself with a laser. Happens all the time. <laughs> the game tells you what portal you shot last, it doesn't tell you if it's full with a laser beam or not. You gotta remember that part yourself. So what you're telling me is, whenever you shoot... Whenever you shoot a portal, don't stand in front of it. Shoot at an angle. <laughs> yeah. You know how they tell you to don't look directly at a flashlight when you turn it on? Don't, don't be that kid just turns the flashlight on and puts it into her eye. <laughs> That's basically portals and lasers. And that there was pure evidence why I, I would not trust GLaDOS with a forklift. I mean, honestly, she might be more effective with that than most other humans. Oh, I should be able to tell you, while I was be busy being dead, I got my forklift certification. Good for you, GLaDOS. Good for you, GLaDOS. Now, question is, will you ever use that? Because I don't see a single forklift in this facility. Probably not. I just wanted to prove a point. Nice whiff there, buddy. Hey, he's having fun. Fine, we gotta go back here anyways. Hello, Shell. It is good to see you again. Did you know that in Australia they were considering letting children drive forklifts? It's rather fascinating. They are not the brightest of their species. We just take carbon They must have that bra that their brain damage that Wheatley mentioned. Yes. Hawkum's full circle on that one. I thought that was interesting. Yeah, the idea of her recycling the air really makes you think, how bad is it really oxygen level wise in here? It's like, is that actually effective, or am I just suffocating without knowing it? Without a care in the world, I have to go to the wing that was made entirely of glass and pick up 15 acres of broken glass by myself. Uh, good, have fun! Makes you think, how does she really pick up glass? She doesn't have arms, so. When she says something like that, it sounds terrible, but then the whole facility is her arms. So it's not really that bad. Oh, maybe that explains all the Ratman's pictures of GLaDOS with hands. Yeah. Yeah, there you go. He, he's seen GLaDOS's true side. I have these exclusively to pick up glass. But why are you picking up broken glass by hand? <laughs> we all have hobbies. Sometimes still trash in them. Standing around, smelling and being useless. Try to avoid the garbage hurtling towards you. You don't have to test with the garbage. Whoa! It's garbage. Press the button again. There we go! But I like garbage. I like garbage so much, I'm gonna use the said garbage. Oh, maybe the garbage shouldn't be so round. You can't actually get that uh, ball to stand on the button. It's a little awkward, but they do put a little lip in there, in the area where the button is. So. Physics pretty much have to be on your side or not if you're going to get that puzzle. So you're supposed to hit it again, so then the whole launcher launches a cube. But we really wanted that radio. Because we got yet another Ratman's desk we can go to. And the Ratman's den here, it does function slightly different when you have a radio, so we kind of need the radio. Yeah, a little bit of a secret message. So I was worried it sailed right over your head, which would have made this apology seem insane. That's why I had to call you garbage a second time just now. Sure. <laughs> you were just going to call me garbage anyways. You think she'd be used to it at this point? Yeah. Be used to, used to being called garbage. Now the radio is having a freak out. So, there we go. Ratman's den, smooth jazz fails. You don't say. <laughs> this thing is going crazy. That day, gummit man, just... Jazz ever work in this place? You probably listen to dubstep, don't you? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> we don't like them saxophones here, we like them wub wubs. But what about wub wubs and saxophones? I feel attacked. The only good dubstep is in Kirby music. <laughs> only good dubstep is only in Kirby music. <laughs> You're welcome. That's a sentence. <laughs> 